Well, if you the big whips and you never get sick of nose really clips, then I have got a present for you. It's a video blog from Mr. BQ. Do yourself a favor and tune in to his YouTube. The story of my life this week, why you guys haven't been hearing much from me, this is it. From that, so you got a new bike, Lance, what's up? Well, you know, after Brad Q gave me so much grief for so long about riding a non-red bike, that I got one. And even though he is a biased red rider, I gotta say it's really, really good. Hey, he falls in love and he put the 365 mix stickers on. I promise you, I don't have to pay this guy very much a year, but I, uh, it definitely comes out of my budget for sure. Good thing I got these uh, here dikes because I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely some fishing lines still in my wheel from uh, pulling my nephew's tooth. So we're gonna see if we can get that stuff out of there and uh, see if we can get this thing back to fighting shape. Because even though it's a Honda and it'll run pretty much through anything, um, I really don't want to have my rear wheel stop and do something stupid while I'm on a jump or then I gotta pick stuff out of it. I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna get her fixed up. Oh she's good as new man. She's good as new but the problem is she's got a bunch of uh, cow crap from the pasture out there underneath the uh, underneath the fender. So if you know know don't know what I'm talking about um, and why that has my bike has cow crap all over it you should check out my last vlog because um, I pulled my nephew Jace's tooth out with my bike in his So, by the way, we're out here at River's Edge and uh, we're in Newcastle, Oklahoma. You can't really tell much, but there's a track out there and it looks sick. And it is sick. What, what are you doing? Why do you just stand over here talking to yourself? <laughs> well, you never have anybody around you and all these vlogs you do. You're like just standing there talking to yourself. <laughs> well, because nobody else wants to listen to me. Lance, I don't want to stand out here and talk to a bunch of people. Plus, then they would know what's in the vlog, so then they would have no reason to watch it. It might be time for a new helmet because you might have hit your head. <laughs> hey, my bell works dang good. I tell you what, I love that thing. I gotta go sweet now. <laughs> right here. Yeah, jump my sprinter right there. You would actually jump your sprinter. Yeah. You would jump in your sprinter or you'd jump over your sprinter? Both. Well, it's a Mercedes product. You are riding a Honda too, so you're, that's a win. Right? Honda can jump anything. Yep, Honda can jump anything. Mercedes could jump just about anything. My Mercedes didn't. Just think if Evil Knievel would have had a Honda. Oh, I know. He would have still he been alive. He could have, instead of jumping Caesars Palace, he could have jumped Las Vegas. <laughs> he could have just jumped over. He would have jumped city. down the whole strip. <laughs> just the whole strip. He could have jumped downtown. Oh, man. That would have been epic. <laughs> How you feel about that? Crazy. It's crazy because you couldn't riding, have done it on a Yamaha. You're riding a white one, but it's not even. I mean, white and red. At least you got the right. Even know what kind of bike this at, is. At least you got the right idea, white and red. But that's a 2012 Yamaha held together by zip ties. It's got three packages of zip ties on it. Some people put carbon fiber and drilled out bolts. Mike puts on zip ties. Nothing wrong with that. Frames held on by zip ties. Radiators, zip ties. Zip ties. Zip ties. Steering tam stem, zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> so, you well, say you're eight. I'm a big dumb idiot, so I crashed. I haven't crashed into a nose wheelie in probably, hmm, I don't even remember the last time. It's been a lot of years since I crashed into a nose wheelie. And uh, I was wheeling up onto this jump, nose wheeling off it, and I got pretty far up there, and then I tucked the front end and I crashed. So, uh, I like I stuck my foot down and jammed the top of my knee with my handlebars so I or I think that's what it was I don't really know it was it was a low speed stupid thing but I uh, I lived and I'm looking forward to going to do some more nose wheelies even though I'm kind of sore so we're gonna see how that goes but uh, hopefully we'll get some riding footage for you guys here in a little bit we're gonna go out and film Lance and Mike out here and and uh, so you can at least see how to do it and I'm going to not show you how not to do it because we can't be doing that. So, we're gonna ride my dirt bike again. It's gonna be sweet. Get some gas, let her rip, tater chip. 
I told Lance, hey, go hit some jumps. It'll be good. It'll be good vlog footage. You can go uh, go send it on that track. There's like three or four tracks here. And uh, he was like, all right, go to this one. And then, as you can tell, Brett's here. No sign of Lance. Such a bummer. Why would he stand me up like that? I really just don't get it. Still waiting. At least I found a good shade tree and a nice place to sit because I'm going to be here a while just waiting and waiting and waiting. It's all right, Lance. No problem. It's just cell phone footage. It's not like it's a old school 8 millimeter tape where I actually got to record over what I record. I can just delete my stuff. Don't worry, Lance. I got this. No problem. It is. He has arisen from the van. It's Lance. Woo! The crowd goes wild. Woo! Woo! Get him, Lance. Send it. Just waiting, man. Click into gear. Fracture starts. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. Dust spread out, but lands that jump so smooth. Lance gotta get back and get a big daddy run at it. Oh, I'm not sure who these guys are, but they're gonna send it. Woo! Yeah! Style points. Running the uh, Christmas tree themed gear with a red pants, white jersey. No, red jersey, white pants, green and white pants. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's Christmas. It's Christmas in August out here in Oklahoma. Don't worry about it. Woo -wee. He looks so much better on that Honda. All I know is Dayton better take notes on how to film. Filming from the bike. Ready to go. Got my goggles, got my helmet. Just waiting on Lance. Come on, dude. Rhythm section. Killing it, Lance. Yep. And then Lance throwing a rooster tail up to the top of the trees. What's up? So why Brett would wear black in August in Oklahoma, I have no idea. But it does look pretty cool. But it's really, really, really hot. right there. Should I wait and show you with my family later on? I've been eating with them all week, so don't get too worked up about that. I've been eating with them all week, been hanging out with them a lot. Um, or should I wait and go, or should I go eat now? It's 2.20, I didn't eat lunch. And I mean, I can't decide. That's, that's the decisions that I go through in my life. Usually, um, I plan, like I plan my day around eating, basically. Not, not the whole day, but like my travel schedule, if I'm traveling somewhere, I, plan it around when I could be in this town for this food and, and that's just how I am so it's a wonder I'm not 400 pounds honestly like 
I should be a fat boy, but um, luckily, hopefully I take after my dad because he's pretty small. So uh, yeah, but anyways, I'm growing my beard out by the way. So never really done that. And uh, I'm definitely thinking, I don't know. What do you guys think? think it looks, looks all right or? Um, I kind of the dirt, the dirt made it show a little bit better today, but um, usually my beard's kind of clear and you don't really see it, but maybe I should just not wash my face for like a month and then grow my beard out and it'll look, it'll look tough. So what do you guys think? Should I grow my beard out or should I just leave it? So I came back to my sister's from riding earlier, got some more rock down on the wall, we got some rock down on the spa, got to finish the rest of that, finish the rest of that wall, and uh, Make a couple more concrete pours, plaster in the pool, get her cleaned up, and we are going to have a swimming hole. It's going to be epic. Can't wait. Even got some tile done. The girls have been on this. My mom and my sister have been on this tile job, killing it. I've been making the cuts, but they have been doing the hard work, so that's for sure. Oh yeah, even got spectators. Dad, how do you feel about the crowd out there? I don't know how I feel about him, that's about your bull.